Joe here, it's Saturday the 12th of July and here I am bringing you another chilli plant update. So as you can see, summer has well and truly hit, it's a beautiful day outside and that's meant lots of growth with these chilli plants. Straight off the bat I cannot recommend this chilli grow from Greenhouse Sensation enough. Look at the size of these plants, they are over 80 centimetres. The lemon drop in the middle, I can't even get in frame, it goes right the way over there and then it comes right the way down here. And there are flowers and pods all over the plant. We'll get you in for a closer look. We'll perhaps do this one on the right hand side first and this is the Hungarian black. Uh, some smaller pods on it but some very nice um, black jet black, uh, very smooth textured chilli. Um, I tried one of these, so I've already had one off the plant. Very nice tasting actually, um, quite mild, um, not overly fruity but certainly not like your usual annum type chilli. Uh, an interesting one to grow and I think I will be growing this one next year. I mean it's very, been very prolific um, you can see it's it's got a beautiful purple flower on still, um, and it's got some some flower buds starting. So I should get some good chilies from this. Uh, this is my absolute beast of a plant, and um, so it, it goes up and then, as I say, forks off. Um, it's absolutely huge. It's got a huge branch here out front as well. Um, absolutely stuffed, as you can see, with flower buds. If those all turn into chilies, I will be eating lemon drop chilies for the next three years or so by the looks of it. Um, it's already got some pods on. Um, nice, typical, um, sorry about the light in here. I've tried to put the light on and it's very bright outside, but I can't focus too much unfortunately. But as you can see, typical lemon drop um, size and shape. Quite a gnarly um not a very smooth textured chilli at all. I've not had any off these yet. Um, they're not ripe at all, they're all green, but I can't wait to get stuck in. This one's the Jamaican Red. I actually topped this here. Um, you can see you know, where I've topped it. Um, some of the leaves were getting really soft. Um, since I topped it, it went absolutely bonkers. Um, sprouted these two shoots and then shot up. Um, it's, it's, it's now massive. It has the um, the beginnings of flowers, but no pods yet, which is fine because habanero style and uh, Scotch bonnet, you know, those type of uh, varieties of chilies do take longer to flower and fruit. The plants themselves, I might be able to show you in the water reservoir. Um, you can't really see it now, unfortunately, but I've just added extra water into here. Uh, and the roots of the plants have actually gone through the pots, through the holes and into the water, water reservoir. And it's almost as if now it's like a semi-hydroponic type setup, which is rather odd. But we'll see how that goes. Um, some of my plants, because I have been away, um, you know, doing various, various bits, I've had a quite a busy... Um, past few weeks uh, and few months I've changed jobs and there's been various other changes and um, that's meant I've neglected the plant slightly so these I think I've had too much nutrients and you can see here I think at the end of this leaf it's got to be a nutrient burn on and um, so I'm going to tone down the nutrients in here and the other plants at the back have had not enough nutrients and they're looking slightly on the yellow side so I've fed them uh, this past week and hopefully they'll perk up. One other tip I will give you while I am here is that anything where the flowers have dropped off or if any leaves fall into the soil I would take this out straight away uh, and dispose of it. Uh, you don't want anything in your soil as that will attract pests uh, and, and potentially disease, you know, all sorts of mould um, and it's just good practice to keep your garden as clean as you can. So, that's done. Um, I will bring you on to this. Uh, another tip, while I'm 
on a roll giving you tips. Um, this plant, this was the first pod on the plant. Um, as you can see, it's rather big. Uh, but what the plant's done, because this was the first pod on the plant, it's put all its energy into producing this pod. And that has meant that all the flowers have dropped off. Uh, which is rather disappointing um, and quite well, quite frustrating. So one tip I would give you is to cut this off. When you see um, you first pod developing, they often call this the king pod. So it's the first pod and the plant will put all its energy into that pod. If you see a, the first pod developing, then take it off. Uh, and the plant will evenly, more evenly distribute its energy to the rest of the plant. So that's the Ahi crystal. I've left the pod on just out of interest, you know, as an experiment, as a bit of fun. You know, I'm not a commercial grower. I'm not going to use these chilies for sources or to sell them on or to sell the seed. So I'm going to leave it on uh, and have a bit of fun with it, which I think we should all learn to bear in mind that it's all fun at the end of the day. We all do this as a hobby and why not so this one here is the phileus blue some very bizarre looking small cherry style pods I've not tried this yet um, I'd like to give them a go I think they're quite hot um, it's a lovely looking little plant though so I'm quite impressed with how that's grown uh, that one uh, the back is the long and slim KN. I've had to top that one too. That was only topped a couple of weeks ago, so it's not had a chance to bush out. But you can see it's already getting um, its side shoots, and it's got some nice, a nice distribution of flowers. So uh, I'm hoping that one will grow to be a good plant. Um, it's already produced one pod, which I've frozen, so I can't tell you the the taste. Um, that was up top before I topped it so I uh, top, took the uh, the king pod as discussed off that one and we'll see how that one goes um, this one's the ahi uh, sorry the lemon drop another lemon drop it's quite small as you can see compared to the the height of the ones in the in the chili grow but it's a reasonable size uh, and it's got some you know, flowers on here and here. Um, it's yellowing quite significantly, but as as I mentioned, that these have all had a feed now. Um, this one is the Jamaican jerk, uh, and it's looking very good. You know, it looks fine. Uh, that one at the in the middle is the Tangerine Dream. And that's looking reasonable. And then that one at the back is the purple haze. It's looking small, but it has got a very small flower on. So all in all, I am pleased with the progress. Um, certainly more pleased with the ones at the back here. And I think between those three, they will absolutely dwarf the harvest of the others. But you live and learn. And certainly next year, I will use this, if not another chili grow. So perhaps have this chili grow here, uh, and then perhaps one here, and just have six plants. Um, and six plants this size will be better than all these smaller plants. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to predict what I will do next year yet. But all in all, the season's going well. Please like, comment um, down below if you wish, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching uh, and keep watching for more chilli plant updates.